Hello guys, this is Karthik from ExecuteAutomation.com and this is part 4 of our ALM with Team Foundation Server Dev and QA focused video series. And in this part we're going to talk about creating our first team project and collection with Team Foundation Server 2015. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 3 since in that part we did the actual installation of our Team Foundation Server. Alright, so let's get started. Creating our first team project. Before creating our first team project, we need to have the following installed in our machine. We should have at least Visual Studio 2012 or 13 or 2015 in our machine installed and also should have Visual Studio Team Explorer in it. Of course, this Visual Studio Team Explorer is available along with 2013 and 2015 out of the box so you don't have to worry about it. Well, what is team project first of all? The team project is going to hold all the code and the process and items etc related to our development of the software project and that's what the team project is. So in short, it has everything. It includes everything related to your project. Well, what is project collection? So a group of team project is called as team project collection. So as the name suggests, it is going to have a collection of all the projects. So you can have any number of projects and all these projects can be put into that particular collection. So when you install the Team Foundation server, a default collection is created to contain all the team projects. When you create a collection, you specify the logical and physical resources that team projects within the collection can use. So all the artifacts and the data that those team projects uses are stored in a single database of the collections. And that's the beauty of the Team Foundation itself because if you're going to migrate your Team Foundation server to different operating system or a different machine, something like that, you can just back up this particular project collection and you can restore it in that particular database and all your codes and every things related to the uh, project will be restored back. And this is project collection. So how it looks like and this is how it looks like. So this is uh, the project tier and this is the data tier that, that you're seeing and it has a configuration database and it will have a collection database uh, which have all the uh, team projects and in this configuration database you will have some collection database of course it will have any number of collections uh, within that particular uh, configurations and uh, every team project will be there in the particular uh, collection databases. So understanding the process templates. So this is suddenly I'm bringing in again because while you create a team project, you must choose its process templates. So the process template defines the set of work item types or WITs, queries and reports that you will use to plan and track your project. So the following process templates are shipped along with Team Foundation Server 2015s, which are Microsoft Visual Studio Scrum, MSF for Agile Software Development, MSF for CMMI Process Improvement. Well, in this particular video series and all upcoming video series, we're going to discuss about Microsoft Visual Studio Scrum process template, but not any other process templates. And the process template comparison is something like this. Of course, this is not a project template, but this is a process uh, template comparison. So you can see that uh, the process area is something like uh, the workflow status uh, states. And for the Visual Studio Scrum, the, the states are like new, approved, committed, done, and removed. Whereas for the Agile, it will be like new, active, resolved, closed, and removed. And for the CMMI, it's going to be proposed, active, resolved, and closed. And uh, similarly for the project planning, it will be like bug and product backlog item, whereas in the Agile it is called as user stories and CMMI it is called as requirement. So similarly for each and every process templates, uh, the uh, terminology which is being used uh, changes slightly, uh, but not much. So this is something which I took from the Microsoft website and this is the uh, link as you can see here. Well. Let's create our first team project in default collection then. So for that, I'm going to first flip to Visual Studio 2015. So for that, I'm going to search for Visual Studio 2015 and I'm going to open that. 
all right so the visual studio 2015 has just opened and then we need to connect to our team foundation server which we just installed so if you have already watched our previous video of this video series our team foundation servers address is http colon double slash server colon at slash tfs and that's the address of our team foundation server so we need to connect to that particular team foundation server in this particular visual studio 2015 for creating our first team project all right so for that we need to first go to the team as you can see here and there's an option called manage connections so if you click this particular option you can see that there will be a team explorer automatically opens i have already created some of the project into this particular team foundation server but for now we'll try to create a new team project so first of all we need to connect to the team foundation server just assume that i have not connected automatically and i'm going to do it first time so you need to first click this particular icon and this box will open the team explorer and you can go to this manage connections and you can connect to the team project you can of course connect with the github but we will discuss about connecting with github in later video of this video series uh, but for now uh, let's connect to the team project so i'm going to go here and we need to connect to the server i have already added the server address here which is nothing but the http colon double slash server colon 8080 slash tfs so this is something which we got while we installed the team foundation server in our machine so i will just go and select that particular server and you can see that we have a default collection this time and if i do a connect here this will connect to my particular project and you can see all the new stuffs are coming into my project but this is not we're going to discuss uh, today but we're going to create a new team project itself so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to click here to the connect and if you go to this projects and my team you can see that there is something called new team project option so this will help you create a new team project for your Visual Studio Team Foundation server. So I'm going to click that and you can see that it will tell you the new team project on the server with slash default collection. So you want to create that or not. And it will ask you to give a name for this team project setting. So we need to first of all pass the new team project here. Uh, let's say you're going to develop some of the application here then you can give that particular application name here uh, let's say uh, we are going to, to deal with a employee application or a customer application uh, you can give that particular name in here uh, let's say my project name is my employee project and that's the project uh, which i'm going to create and you can give a description here so this project will have employee application all right and then i'm going to hit next and this will ask you for the process template remember as i already told microsoft team foundation server 2015 ships along with three process templates out of the box and this is scrum agile and cmmi so we're going to select the scrum as i already said we're going to deal only with the scrum so I'm going to select that and then I'm going to hit next here and you can see that it will ask you to choose which kind of versioning system you're going to use or you're going to use the team foundation version control system or you're going to use the JIT. So in this particular video series, we're going to work with team foundation version control system. So as you again see that the version control system is just a part of a big system of the team foundation server itself. So you can even optionalize this particular version control systems if you want to. So I'm going to choose Team Foundation Server version control system. And then I'm going to hit next here. And this will tell you uh, a clean uh, settings, whatever you have given here with the complete descriptions. And then if you are okay with this, uh, then probably it's going to create a uh, version controls under this particular uh, empty folder here. All right, I'm going to hit finish for now. And this is going to download the process template. Uh, this is something which is there in the team foundation server itself. 
So it will take some time to create the project structures and permissions to be assigned and work item link types to be created. And once everything is done, probably uh, this uh, particular project will be created. All right, so the team project is created successfully. You can see the log if you want to. I don't want to, of course. And then I'm going to hit close. And you can see that our new project, like employee project, is right now available under the default collection. So server slash default collection. So that is the collection name. And within this particular default collection, I have two projects here. So just recollect you had default collections or the team project collections can have any number of project into it but not the team project itself can have multiple projects of course it is not possible so your default collection has right now got two team projects here and this is the project which we just created and if you double click this you can see that it has uh, different kind of stuffs here like my work pending source control explorer uh, work items, builds, and settings, something like that. But of course, we'll deal about all those things in upcoming videos of this video series. But for now, just keep in mind that this is how you can create a team project in your Team Foundation Server 2015. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.